Oh. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be doing something special, something new, trying something else other than just review entire haul. Today I'm going to start a brand new series. <laughs> which I mean I'm a new channel but I'm starting a series where I will try to watch like YouTube videos or search online some uh, makeup artists or YouTubers and like try to like learn their techniques and apply it to my skin and I will try to use like um, similar products that they use to achieve like their like base makeup or their eye makeup and for today I'll be trying Natasha Denona's like face makeup and also uh, her techniques on uh, eye makeup look and let's get started so I've searched online and I found a tutorial by Natasha Denona that uh, she uh, does a tutorial on how to do a signature glow medium tutorial and I'll be using her foundation face glow foundation uh, to like demo uh, to try on her techniques on how to uh, do a very very glowy look and let's begin step number one Prime your skin with the primer that you have received, which we have matched to your skin so texture. Start. She. Karina has normal to combination skin, so I chose for her the lifting primer. The lifting primer is the best primer for mature skin, aging skin, because it has anti-aging benefits. But it also is wonderful so for, for young skin that is combination primer, or normal skin. So I'll be using the Neutrogena Hydro Boost gel cream as my primer Next step, she used her foundation and a foundation brush. And then she used a stroking motion or a tapping motion for more coverage. And then she talks about um, blending the foundation. Like, to match the body, I'm using a mirror. I use a uh, half a pump, my a full pump for half of each face. Then cover your under eye circles with she some concealer. The, uh, to cover the under eyes with some concealer, and I will be using the Tarte Creaseless um, concealer. 
in the shade light medium sand which is <laughs> Well, this is it. This is unacceptable with the shape selection. But we could work with this. She is just tapping some concealer under the eyes. A few moments later To set the face, she said to just sweep powder with a um, brush And just lightly tap some powder on the T-zone And I'll if be using the If your T-zone seems to be too uh, shiny, so then you can apply some powder Preferably with a brush The application of powder with a brush is a much more natural, mattifying finish because we still want to have a subtle glow on the T-zone and not looking too much. Then build your contours with a bronzer. And then she will use a contour. <laughs> um, use a bronzer to contour. I'll be using the uh, It Cosmetics um, Bye Bye Pose Bronzer in the shade Beach. And she is just um, slightly. Um, Tapping onto the cheek, just slightly lower to the cheekbones, and then bringing, and then um, just slightly tapping it on. Continuing with applying the blush on the higher points of the apples of the cheeks and softly blending it into the bronzer. The next step is she use a blush and then just put it on top of the cheekbones and then slightly blending it back to the contour. So this is the high point of my cheekbone and I'm gently tapping the color. Step 3 is the Face Glow Cream Shimmer. Apply the cream shimmer with tapping the sponge onto the product. So the next step is she puts cream highlighter. I'm using the uh, Charlotte Tilbury Cream Highlighter and then she puts it on her sponge. Then apply the face glow cream shimmer with the sponge onto the higher points of your cheekbones, moving with tapping motions from the hairline until under the eye and backwards. After repeating the same a few times, start moving upwards, under the cheekbones, a little bit on the bronzer, and also on top of the blush, and back again. And she taps into the high cheekbones and move it to the hairline back and forward
step is use the glow powder to set the highlight. Step number four, the All Overglow Shimmering Powder. This step sets the face glow cream shimmer and turns it into even longer lasting and touch proof. And then she will be setting the highlight in place. And then we will skip the steps for her eyes and then she repeats the same progress, uh, uh, same kind of a um, highlighting uh, procedure with the forehead and the nose and the bridge of the lips. <music> She used a lip gloss and I'm using a lip tint crayon. So I'll prime my eyes and I will be back. So I have finished priming my eyes and we will be um, using another tutorial from Natasha Denona and we will be checking out one of her uh, cut crease tutorial which I suck at doing I can't do a cut crease so we'll be learning how to cut a crease so this tutorial is a very short tutorial but we will take our time to learn the progress and this I, I'm not straight up copying like everything from her I'm using her um, Metropolis palette. This is a, um, if I recall it right, this is a lilac palette. No, it's a own radiant works of art. Watch me to learn how to create this lilac cut crease eye makeup look. First, I'm starting with morning. I'm going to blend this a little bit upwards to give a little bit of uh, a soft yellowish background to the crease. So first, she puts on a crease color. I'll be using the uh, shade uh, Rope. Morgan to give a little more warmth and then she put on another shade to the crease to add like extra definition to the crease and I'm using the color ripe <music> Aster with my finger. I want full coverage. This is a very foiled sparkling eyeshadow and has a duochrome pearl which are actually it's quite multi-chrome. It has greens, purples and blues and I'm pressing this onto the lid. She then used her fingers to place the color, the bright color. I'll be using the shade Clarence. It's a rich red shade and she plays it right underneath 
the grace. We're using a brush. She placed the color into the crease. Now for purple hue, I want to add glory to the crease. I'm taking a smaller brush and working it from down inwards and up. And then she blends a very rich shade into the crease. I'm using the Makeup Deep Red shade, which is called Untouchable. And she is placing a really rich red color to the crease. morning again just to connect all these shades here it's a small area where three different shades meet and for easier blend you just have to repeat the lighter shades again so you have a very soft finish okay and then she's using the shade that she puts in the beginning to buff out the edges of the color so I'll be using right again no rope again to buff out my edges now with a small precision brush I will take glory again because I want to define the lower lash line but only on the outer third and connecting it with the upper lash line this will give an elongated look to the eyes and will also open up and lift the eye and now she's using again a deep red shade and then trying to blend in the crease and her lower lash line the inner corner I am picking up awakening it has duochrome pearls pinkish and also a little bit purpley and I am dragging it also to the lower lash line and connecting with the darker shade and then she's putting a shimmer shade in her inner corners and to her 
front of the eye. I'll be using the shade Crest. I picked a really bad color for this. I'm gonna fix this. BRB. So after I fix my slightly fix it, which is not really a fix, I don't have the eye structure to pull off like the kind of like um, cut crease look. I just I could never pull off a cut crease look. And before I say I could never, let me just slightly even blend out. So I smoke out a little, a little more. Definitely not the best eye look I've ever done, but <laughs> I'm trying her techniques. I have no lashes on. I'm not bothered to put it on. So at the end, I put on antique onto my crease to like, give extra depth because the red shade really didn't give and I don't have a crease to have like the shadowy look. So I just blend in some critique into it and then I uh, clean up like the eye, uh, uh, some space for my eye to make it look like I have a crease which I don't and then I use the shade black light from makeup geek this shade on my lids here to brighten up the look a bit more um, it turned out really really dramatic and it looks a bit muddy and didn't look great I think um, I struggle with cut crease and like if I have to do a cut crease I have to like really use an angle brush and to really draw
could really, really like draw my lid on. You can see the line here. I really, really have to draw and not really blend because it would look weird. I would do the face makeup again. I love the face makeup. It's really glowy without being like. I can do it with like a lot of foundation with the techniques that she used, like using a cream and then just set a little and like. But the eye look good. Um, I I I like the way how she does like the outer corner, where. Like she placed the color and then slowly blend it out. I don't think it's the technique. Te the technique isn't the problem. The problem is I don't have a crease <laughs> to do that, and it just looks really mm, weird. And overall, like I would do this again, but like. Like with this, with these colors, I would do this again. I'm just trying to blend this out to look a bit more this decent. Like I would do this again. It's just really, really dra dramatic with my with the looks, and I don't wear this out in any way, shape, or form. I like the color theme that I picked. It's a very rusty, um, very rusty, very um, cool kind of purpley eye look. It will look great with lashes on, and like, but I'm not just in the mood to put on any lashes. And for the base makeup. I would like to do that again. Like I would like set my face and then put on highlighter and then put on powder on top of that. That I would do it again. Like the very light bronzer, very light kind of like a blush look, really, really beautiful. And it's spring in it's summer is coming in Australia and I'm like glowy skin makeup. So thanks for watching, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will find some uh, makeup artists online and I will do the, um, I will try to follow their tricks, try to like, um, mimic their techniques or try to use a similar kind of a texture of product to like mimic the look. I love you guys, see you in the next time, bye!